Did you know you can trust the experts at JTV with your real estate advertising needs? We offer professional photography, aerial photography, and video of your listings. Feature your homes on our property of the day on the Bart Holly Show, or be featured on At Home Jackson. Give us a call at 787-8817 or check us out online, jtv.tv. Good morning and happy Thursday this week. Happy Thursday. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You were uh, not here Monday, but it was weird because I'm driving downtown and I see you. So I call. I'm like, I thought you were going to be out of town. What's okay. going on? Okay, but for the record, I had texted you earlier. You, you just did. had I, not seen it yet, true. but I did feel like... Um, uh, Mr. Hinkle caught me skipping school my senior mm -hmm. year when you called. So we were supposed to be on a family vacation for multiple reasons. We had to cancel it. So I was here, including we had three closings on Monday. Oh, big day. So, you know, that, a triple yeah. header. That's a big day. So yeah. I was happy to be here for that. But one of them had whatever, poured over from Friday, yeah. so we had to close at 8 a.m. So I couldn't be here. Okay. You weren't planning on me anyway. Bart was yeah. filling in, so now I'm filling in for Bart So now morning. you're here? Yes. Awesome. Well, it's uh, nice to have you. Good it's a uh, beautiful day yesterday. It's been, uh, oh, it's it's been nice. We've had a nice July. It's been lovely. Yeah. We tapped it off perfectly, yeah. but I was really bummed that you didn't come. <sighs> well, I wasn't really invited. Oh my God, whatever. So, Everybody is invited to Lakeside Yoga when we are able to do it. So I saw this picture this morning and I got even more upset. <laughs> why? Look at all those people. I know, isn't that great? So here's why, I, there's a lot of reasons. No, it's not Noah. At first I did think that was Noah who like came down because he's he lives in Lake Columbia proper. I wish Noah I wouldn't know where to stand. Actually, now that I see it's like a circle, I'd be more comfortable because, well, I wouldn't want to stand behind all the ladies. Yeah. And I wouldn't want all the ladies standing behind me. Well, yeah. For multiple reasons. Well, and I'm not that good at stretching, but I've been working on stretching. Well, and so Jamie Thompson. Pull that shot Is a fantastic yoga instructor, but it's like a flow. So it's not like, you're never just standing still. So um, like, you're moving the entire time. Who's the guy? Uh, Jake Dickerson, Magistrate Jake Dickerson. What? Who does he yeah. think he is? You know, he is the most well-rounded dude. Like he will try anything. He masters so many things he puts his mind to. Yeah. Um, is that Doreen? Yes. Oh, awesome. Oh my God. I cannot believe that you recognize yes. her. From, yes. Are you kidding me? No, no. Oh she, she lives out uh, my way and saw the post and came. We had all shapes and sizes, all ages, men, women. It was awesome. Did you it drink? Was really great. Do you have a drink after? So it's funny. I got a little bit of a stinger. Really? Yes, because if you come to Lakeside Yoga, you get rewarded with champagne after. How many glasses did you have? Well, my so last year or last week it rained and we only had seven people, but we went through six bottles of champagne. <laughs> so I like you know, doubled down for this okay. week. And a bunch of people brought it. So there was like rosé, champagne, and sparkling wine, and all hmm. this stuff. And everybody just hung out until like nine o'clock. Really? So I got a little, little tiny stinger. Not okay. bad, all right. just a little okay. stinger. Well, if, uh, I yeah. ate a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. That's oh, like, I needed that. Really? Like, yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. interesting. But, well, I, but it, was, it was okay because I yoga first, right? I guess, yeah. Well, if the yoga happens again, um, let us know, and uh, we'll uh, we'll bring our beach towel out. No, you have to bring a yoga mat. You, you can bring a beach towel, but yoga yeah. mat's better. I, I think we have yoga mats at mm -hmm. our house. I bet you do. Yeah, perfect. Yep. So um, I need your help. Okay. You have a middle schooler. I do. I have one going into middle school, and I am i don't know what to do. I am here for you. Please. I am here for it. I have been procrastinating at best. I need you to just wake up Monday morning, take mm -hmm. the next few days, and just enjoy the end of the sixth grade era and then wake up Monday morning and get on it. You need to read, I'm not kidding, every email, 
<laughs> you need to get those uniforms ordered. I do. You need to get those school supplies. The other thing is school you supplies. need to get the um, decor for the locker because the week before school, all sold out. What? Yes, all sold out. You have to do it now. Where do I get that? Target. Target. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of Target, you won't believe this. What? I saw this today. The Kids Kingdom in 2001 at the Hot Air Jubilee okay. was sponsored by Target. And it reminds me of like the late 90s and early 2000s when all these big box stores came in town, sponsored something quick for 500 bucks, and then you never hear the rest never of them again. Never hear from them again. Right? But yeah. you know what? Where does everybody flock? Target. Target. But you know what? I like to shop local. You do like to shop local. And, and I got an amazing pair of shoes next we, door. We normally don't go to the shoe cam for heels, but uh, we are going to the Which, shoe cam. It now should be the opposite. It should be more for the heels. But oh. check out these little cuties. Which way am I going? Right there? Look oh, that. how cute is that? Those like have a cow print on them. They do. And then the, look at that cute little heel. I agree the rope. with what you said up there. What? Nothing. Nothing. Tell me right now. No. This show will stop. No. It looks like a cow print is what they said. No, on they it. didn't. You yes. lie like a rat. That's exactly what he said. He you said lie. it looks like a cow print. Whatever. I said I agree with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Okay. Very well. good. And I should compliment you on your new dress. I know your husband ruined all of your clothes in uh, an attempt uh, to do in laundry. In the laundry <laughs> incident of 2023, I had to recoup like six dresses that got destroyed. Gosh, I know. Destroyed. But I do like that one. That looks great. Yeah. Thanks. Yes, for sure. Um, so yeah, hot air balloons, Target sponsoring the kids' kingdom. Good Lord, that was so long ago. But balloons have been everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, yeah. Is that not the coolest way to start the day? It is. I just wish I knew where they were going to be. But yeah. I understand why we don't. So I was in my bathroom. Was it yesterday? And I heard the dragon. My girls always called it the dragon when they were little. And then it kind of goes mm -hmm. down and then you hear it and you go out and you just see this balloon over the water or and then I get in my car and I'm driving north on 127 and I see all these balloons coming across. I mean, it's just so magical. Yeah, we it's cool. are blessed beyond measure. We live in the coolest place in the world. I think we do too. Have you been up in one? No, you're afraid. Same, same. Same. Does that mean we should do it together? No. No? No, you can't have two people that are afraid up there together. Because well, then you could like freak we'd... the pilot out, and then the pilot's got to deal with. Mm. So, I okay. don't know. I'm. Maybe if it was tethered. I've got just this. We can do that. I know okay. I know a, a place where they're going to have tethered balloons. Okay. So, we, so we can, can do, do tethered. I will yeah. do that. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Um, we've been talking about the weather. There's a chance of a little uh, pop-up storm this afternoon, but let's go out to... See what Tina's Tina. doing. Tina, what's going on out there? Hey, good morning. It's <laughs> Tina at Hometown Heating. It's going to be a beautiful day. It is going to be a beautiful day. We've had, like I said, a wonderful July. I hope, uh, I hope it's wonderful this weekend. It's supposed to be wonderful. We have so much going on. Gosh, we have a lot going on. The yeah. Gus Smacker, it's fun seeing everything yeah. kind of get ready to roll into town. I wouldn't mind a little bit of a spritz. Uh, this afternoon, because I forgot to water my flowers this morning. Oh. That's why I was here early. I was like, what am I forgetting? Flowers. How did I, I get Brandon, here? do you have flowers at your house? We do, yes. Do you really? Do you well, water them? Yeah. Occasionally. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know that we have flowers. See? No? Not too much sunlight where we uh, where we live. I think that's probably uh, why. Uh, let's talk Gus Macker. Of course, the Gus Macker's coming up this weekend. All the action starts tomorrow at uh, around 5 o'clock. Friday's the Heroes Tournament. Uh, five, that's at 5 o'clock. The Club Life All-Star Game, 5.30. Um, on Saturday, the morning game started at 8.30. At 11.30 on Saturday, 11, uh, 11.30, excuse me, there'll be the mascot meet and greet and the mascot game. And 12.30, the dunk contest. Now, on Friday and Saturday, there'll be music going until 9 o'clock. So it should be fun. A lot of, a lot of fun downtown Jackson right here. Are you doing the dunk contest? Me? Yeah. <laughs> no. No? I did participate in that 26 years ago. Oh, 26 years ago. I so was, how many years has it been coming? Well, there was a hiatus. Okay. So uh, it was here and then 97, 98, and then left, and then came back, and now it's huge. And okay. we're going to have uh, Kyle Lichty and Tina Mercer on later to talk about it. Perfect. So it should be good. Um, Hot Air Jubilee. Here's uh, a little bit of the schedule for you. So Friday morning. Uh, pending weather, there will be the 7 a.m. launch. The festival opens at 3. 
Um, on 7 p.m. Friday, the Women's National Championship Awards, along with a 7 p.m. mass launch, and then 9 p.m. Night Glow. Saturday, same thing. Um, festival opens at 3. There'll be the Car Show, Kids Kingdom, Bounce House, and Jelly Blasters. That sounds amazing. Yes. Is that like being slimed? I don't know. You just had a fly on the side of your head. Did you see that? No, because I've got the side sweep going. Okay. I can't see anything to my left. <laughs> you cannot. Can you even see me? Barely. <laughs> Jeez. So uh, Hot Air Jubilee should be a wonderful time. Do you have plans to go? Well, yes. Okay. Very good. Probably Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Maybe a night time? Ooh. What time did you say that? Nine o'clock. And I think that's mm. the most fun are the night glows. Okay. I'm going to put it on for Saturday, 9 p.m. Perfect. The night glow. You'll want to get there before 9 p.m. though. Oh, of course. Maybe about 15 minutes before. Yeah. So tonight's media night, you might see a few balloons. Brandon, who do we have going up? <laughs> T. Gerwig. T. going up. Yes, he's the only one that can. Would you have gone? No one will go, right? Like, no, it'd be a great experience. We're just all afraid of heights. Yeah, we're all afraid of heights. Yeah. So, would you have gone? Maybe. <laughs> See, we we need a hard yes. Well, I mean, I can't now, but I probably I would have done it. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. We I could probably still it. get you up there. What time? Yeah, we don't have a host. Yeah, you want to do it? What time? Look what you did. <laughs> what do you mean? What time? What I time? Have, I think six o'clock, I think. Oh, no, I, I have a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I have a seven. I, I really have a do, seven, too. I would have done it if somebody would have asked. Okay. Well, now that we know that, next year. I would have doubled my life insurance policy prior to doing it. No, but. you don't need to. This, uh, everything is safe. So you were supposed to go to Pebble Beach of the Midwest, <laughs> Bay Harbor, and you ended up in a place that only you and your family know about. And that's why I wanted to share it. Please. I share it every summer. We make a mad dash out to Pittsburgh and just outside of Pittsburgh in a city called West Mifflin, right on the river. West what? Mifflin. 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 Don't get miffed at West Mifflin. Um, it, you, all these windy roads, mountains, hills, rivers, and there is Kennywood. Kennywood. The sweetest amusement park in all the land. I absolutely love it. I like so, the sweetest family in all the land. It's always a good time. I saw Kennywood. that. That's the first time I noticed their slogan. Yep. Always a good time. Always a good time. So you'll notice in that, see all the trees and the flowers? It's just beautiful, lots of shade. There's a little lake in the middle of it. The river is down, like this is up on a, mm -hmm. basically on a mountain and it's um, down from that is the river. So you can have great breezes. The old, one of the oldest roller coasters in the country, the mm -hmm. Jackrabbit, that I absolutely love. It's 120 years old, and the park turned 125 this year. So we had to cancel our vacation, and my husband and I were just so bummed about it. Mm -hmm. We thought, well, let's make a man dash out. My sister-in-law, Karen, who I just adore, um, and we haven't got to see her in a minute, and we yeah. got to see Kim. It was wonderful. The weather was perfect. People were great. Like, they still provide service at Kentwood. Mm -hmm. Like, people right. actually... Nice. Ask how you're doing. What can they do for you? I mean, it's it's cool. really lovely. So cool. it's only four and a half hours. Did you ride uh, any rides? I did, but not as many. They did the fast pass, and there's okay. a ride there called the Steel Curtain. You know, it's Steeler Country. Oh yeah, there. Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's the craziest ride you have ever seen. Like I just say hail mary every time yeah. they get on it. Pull the uh, photo back up. Um, oh great! Why? What do you think I'm going to say? My shoes. You don't wear those to an amusement park. Well, you don't. See I how, do. See how the rest of Karen, Claire, Katie, and Kerwin dress for the park. Yeah. You, you could make a mad dash to a nightclub dress like that. Well, I didn't <laughs> complain, so I don't know why you are. I was just thinking you bought some new tennis shoes and this is perfect. You know, I really should have. We literally decided... Right. It's the last go. thing you're grabbing is tennis shoes and, and a we went to church before that. Oh, very nice. And so I wouldn't wear I wouldn't wear tennis yeah, shoes to church. So <laughs> yes. I wasn't even thinking about what I was gonna wear to the park when we packed. Mm. We literally left at four PM on Saturday. Oh wow. And we're back by eleven or ten yeah, PM that on is Sunday. A mad dash. So it was a mad dash. I literally packed a bag when I got home from work. I really wasn't thinking about it. But I'll tell you that my chunky heels did just freaking fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they did. Whoa. Yeah. I said frickin'. Uh, you did. You did. Say that three times fast. No. <laughs> um, how's you, the drive through the mountains? That's what I was just going to say. Have you ever driven to Pittsburgh? I have driven to Pittsburgh. Actually, some friends, we were talking about going to Pittsburgh because it is so close. So, Ooh, I hate that So tunnel. driving in the middle of a mountain. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Bam. 
It is so cool. You would literally come out in downtown Pittsburgh where all three rivers meet, get on the wrong bridge, you're lost for days. But you, that is right through the middle of the mountain. I was, uh, I was in a wedding in downtown Pittsburgh and oh. it was the first time I was in Pittsburgh and we did wedding photos across one of the bridges. Oh, There's so many cool. of them. Yeah. Well, I love this drive. I mean, we've been doing it for 24 years and I still get tickled every time we come out of the tunnel and you're just smack dab right mm -hmm. in the city. I mean, yes. it's like not city over here, kind of industrial, yeah. commercial, go through the mountain and then it's like Oz. It's very cool. It's yeah. just, yeah, just a short drive too. Yeah, so it's not bad at all. Um, did you know that Dahlenbergers serves breakfast now? <gasps> this is brand new yeah, information. We, we learned about this the other day. I might right. feel better right now if I had known that. Yes, for sure. And they open at seven, so you could have gone. Okay. So they have uh, biscuits, fresh baked, Ooh. cinnamon rolls, <gasps> breakfast sandwiches, okay. coffee, mm. orange juice. Speaking of which, yeah. thank you for my coffee You're welcome. Today. Um, this is mm. a game changer, mm -hmm. I feel like. Mm -hmm. It so is. 7 to 10.30, huh? Yeah. So... If you want to come down for the Gus Macker, grab some breakfast. Yes. Grab some breakfast. No, we had it in here. Um, they brought bags of it, and it was all gone. Look yeah. at it. Ooh, that looks Ooh, good. Goodness gracious. Is that an egg on there, or is that? Yeah, that's a egg, cheese, and sausage okay. on one of their freshly baked biscuits. And this nice. is all made to order now. Serious. This isn't wrapped up ready yeah, yeah. to go. True. You pull in, and it's... Ready to go. Is that the um, Gus, Maker, Gus Macker burger? That is not, but they do have a special uh, Gus Macker burger. Okay. That's just a bacon, egg, and cheese on a... Uh, is that sausage, too? Mm. It looks like it. That looks like something that would definitely make me feel better right now. Yeah, that would cure that. I wish somebody from Dahlenberger would run one over. That would cure that... Uh, Rosé. Oh, the rosé all day. Rosé all day. Oh, hey, I had an open house um, last uh, event last Friday, and my dear friends from Sylvia's Catering was there, and I got to tell you, you got to contact the, those oh, yeah. ladies. They're fantastic. 517-745-4512 to schedule your complimentary wedding tasting. I might just pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'd know. Just to go in and get that. But you know what else she does is um, corporate lunches and social gatherings. Nice. So, like, we just did a thank you for American Title. Oh, cool. They're amazing partners of ours that she did a taco bar oh nice and it was awesome and they did jtv's food circus they did so yeah. people need to watch for that they are in napoleon now you got to look for the giant pirate um up on the pole there's a big story behind that you need to talk to allison to get all the details they have modern twists they focus on rich flavors and elise and allison are just a dynamic duo they can help you with your event large or small they also do boat snacks Ooh. So you're going to go plan a day at the lake, and let's say you're a guest. Do you know mm -hmm. how happy I would be if, I brought if a guest snacks? showed up with a tray of boat snacks for everybody? <laughs> Pretty happy. Right. But I usually have them already from Sylvia's, and they, they fit really well in coolers. They're great for a day out on the lake. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right by Aggies, correct? Yes, they yes. kind of share a parking lot. Yeah, they do, for sure. So... Um, British Open, the Open Championship across the pond has started. Jennifer, I know you'll be anxious to hear that South African amateur Christo Lamprecht is leading at minus five. Wow. Yeah, I guess he's 6'8". Six, 6'8"? Eight. Six, eight? Six, eight, Brandon. Like, how he's, long is his golf club? I don't know. But, you know, his long, or his arms are probably long, yeah. so maybe the golf clubs are standard size. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to ask. Ask him, the the twenty two year old South African. He's only twenty two. He's only twenty two. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's an amateur. Tall drink of water. He's an amateur, just like you and I. Amateur. How can he be an amateur and be on it? Doesn't he, he have to qualify? He did qualify. Yeah, there's qualifiers to so get. So amateur in. means that you're not making money off of it yet. Yes. So he hasn't made any money yet, and he's he in can. this so tournament. So if he, yeah, so if he finishes high enough and wants to cash, he can turn pro and. He Take loses his amateur yes. status? Yes, but okay. this seems like a good time uh, to do that. So we're going from Wimbledon to the British Open. What's oh, after that? Tommy Fleetwood is now tied for first with oh. Christo. Um, Wimbledon. I feel like you and your husband should go to Wimbledon. I mean, I think we should too. Don't you think? What would you wear? I might wear my tennis shoes. No, you would not. I might. To Wimbledon? With like a really cute dress. You wouldn't wear tennis shoes to Wimbledon unless they were Gucci. Well, I didn't say what brand they would be. <laughs> I would like to go to Wimbledon. Like wear a suit and sit in one of those box seats. Yeah. Don't you think that would be fun? Yes, I do. 
I think tickets are very expensive, so I don't think that will happen. I think getting there would be. <laughs> getting there would be half <laughs> a the battle. Tricky. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think you've heard enough from us, probably. Should you we think? get started? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a great show today. Wonderful show. We're gonna get things started right after this quick break. The PICK Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. Get ahead of the game and get your sports or annual physical before school starts in September. Whether for your student athlete to be ready for action or your student to be ready for school, now is the perfect time to make sure their health needs are up to date. Center for Family Health is offering physicals for youth ages 10 to 18 and provides vaccines and other health screenings during the physical. Most insurances and Medicaid are accepted with a sliding scale for qualified patients. Often there is no copay for a physical. Five winners of $100 gift cards will be randomly drawn in June and July. Call 517-748-5500 to schedule an appointment today. Same day appointments are available at our four school health center locations. The Center for Family Health has been opening the door to health care for all in Jackson County for more than 30 years. The Gus Macker Jackson 3-on-3 three -three Basketball Tournament will fill the streets of downtown Jackson on July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Don't miss out on all the fun and competition. You'll want to see it all with specials like a slam dunk contest, mascot game, heroes tournament, and even a dream team tournament for adults with disabilities. New this year is Music on Michigan, Friday and Saturday in a cornhole tournament on Saturday, July 23rd at Grand River Brewery at 5 p.m. Visit the Gus Macker Jackson Facebook page now and during the tournament weekend. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care, located in Jackson, Michigan. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. With options of individual therapy, family and couples, group counseling, psychological evaluations, we are here to help with all your mental health needs. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. The sounds of summer are happening at Cherry Creek every Thursday night. They have uh, live music every Thursday from June through August on the Cherry Creek stage. Some of the best solo and duo, duo acts around full cafe and beverage menu available. This week's music is by Whiskey and Wine. Mm. So check it out. Our show today also brought to you by Total Landscaping Inc. for uh, all your landscape needs from hardscape to softscapes to brush and tree trimming. Give Total Landscape a call today at 517-764-3626. And here from the coolest club in town, we have <laughs> Lindsay Sykes with Club Life. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Coolest yeah. club in town. I like yes, that. Yes, I like that too. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty biased, but well, it's well, your you club. Are, it is my club. You so. are the coolest club. You've got <laughs> yes. the, the coolest wheels. Yes. You've got the biggest smiles coming out. Coolest of the bus. participants for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> how's How's the summer been? It's you guys have been active. We have been very active. Yes, we've had camps going this summer. Um, our putt putt league, which is always a really big hit, yes. um, and then hoops group getting ready for Gus Macker. And so. you are actually coaching one of their teams? I am. Oh, yes. M multiple teams. Yes. So Lo I'm, I mean, we have lots. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to see the roster. Oh, yeah. And yeah. kind of fill in some spots. Yeah. Gonna, it's, I heard last year 
Uh, when I was asked to do this, I was very excited because I heard this was the highlight of the Macker last year. Yeah, it, it really was. I'm not a big uh, basketball person. And um, so we went down, obviously, because Club Life was there. Yeah. And it was amazing. So, Lindsay, we know because yep. you're a big friend of JTVs. And we see you guys all over town. I'm sure our viewers see your buses all over yeah. town. But why don't we educate those that might not know on exactly what Club Life is? Yes. So we provide um, social enrichment opportunities for adults with developmental disabilities. Okay. Um, and so what does that look like? Um, you know, we have a population here um, in Jackson that um, doesn't always have necessarily the mm -hmm. same opportunities yeah, and we're tra trying to change that. Yeah. And so um, we provide staffing and, and our big push is to make sure they're out in the community and they're right. seen and, and you know have a, a valuable place in this community. So we have putt-putt leagues, we have um, bowling leagues in the winter. We are partnering with um, Jackson School of the Arts right mm -hmm. now, Arts for All, um, and did kind of a collaboration um, in the spring with J-Town Clubhouse mm -hmm. nice. and Jackson School of the Arts. So that was amazing. Yeah. They're doing theater and art class. Oh. Um, so it's just, it, you know, it gives them um, some purpose yeah. um, to hopefully fulfill more of, of yeah. their time. That's great. Yeah. What a beautiful thing. So if um, somebody is watching yes. and maybe they have a loved one uh, yep. or a family friend that has some extra special challenges yes. and this sounds like a great resource for them, how do they get involved and, and can just anybody do it or is yep. there? A yep, it's, it's open for any adult over the age of 18 with um, a developmental disability and they can visit our website uh, www.theclublife.org and they can register. Um, we have a participation um, registration. Okay. And once they do that, then they can um, RSVP to any of the events. We put awesome. them all up on the website and they can follow us on Facebook too, Facebook, Instagram, and kind of see what's going on. Nice. Awesome. So yeah. So uh, how many athletes will you have at the Macker? Probably 20 to 25. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. We have a lot of the so, same participants as last year as yep. well. So oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And they are so looking forward to it. They okay. had a practice yesterday. Oh, cool. And nice. got, they were getting ready. And um, Who's the LeBron James of the group? Oh, gosh. It's so hard. Um, I mean, we have so many, you know, um, both Kenny and Kevin Lynch mm -hmm. are fabulous. They love it. Um, we have... Um, some you know some participants who are i mean a lot of them have been playing basketball right. forever right. Yeah. you know a lot of them play in special olympics yep. Yep. a lot of them played for school when they were growing right. up yep. um or at kit young yeah. um yeah. for the bulldogs so that's right. yeah yeah i can't wait yeah be we're so excited and you said that's friday at 5 30. friday, friday, friday. Yeah, we need everybody to come down yes, and cheer yes. them out yeah and they'll yes. also uh there'll be uh the heroes games going on so there'll be a ton of nice. ton of things to do yes um where else have, are, have you guys gone you guys have uh, i think we have some more pictures but you guys go all over yeah yeah so we um have this is actually at full blast in um uh, Battle Creek, so that was part of our campership this week. Mm -hmm. um, they went up there, they took the bus up there, nice. and um, it was a perfect day. Um, we've gone out to um, Pleasant Lake, Clark Lake, um, we've um, done disc golf. Um, Are you any I, good at that? I have never done it. I'm so terrible We at had it. staff, I've never done it. I really actually want to get them out um, and do foot golf. Oh, I've yeah, heard that's, that's a big that's thing. That's fun. Yeah. So um, yeah, we wanna we wanna try that too, but um, we got went out and got ice cream. They went to the beach bar and had lunch. Um, you know, we we get around. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, <laughs> I you see do. you guys at Ella Sharp a lot. Yes, I see the bus yes, there a lot. Yes, yep, yep. So um, we have a great partnership with them. Um, you know, they actually they let us keep our bus there. That's our meeting spot. Got and it. then um, we've been able to allow them to utilize the bus to to transfer some participants from the interface shelter that oh. are do, doing programs. Yeah. So it really is. I mean, that's connecting community is a big mm -hmm. thing for us. Yeah. How can all of these organizations? Yeah help each other out. Lindsay, so. how has uh, Club Life impacted you and David since this has started? I mean, you think of, you know, making it yeah. through 
COVID yeah. and, and still being able to uh, engage uh, with your members. I mean, it's really amazing. It, it is. And we, you know, um, we had to pivot like everybody mm -hmm. during COVID. And we, um, you know, we ended up trying to find a space um, at during that time um, because the community wasn't open right right yeah. yeah and that was our big thing getting them out into the community but we the there was still a need for them to do something so um then once the community opened again we pivoted again mm -hmm. and um we're back out doing a lot of our activities just in the community yeah. instead of one space which okay. is really our goal yeah. um and so yeah you know it it's it truly is our life's work. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, David and I are both in education um, for our full-time jobs and we just see the need. Mm -hmm. And so we know this is um, very valuable and necessary. Yeah. When's the next putt putt? Uh, Monday. Really, what time? Five o'clock. No, 5.30, 5.30 to seven. Okay. Yes, 5.30 to seven, Monday night, Ella Sharp. Is it individual or teams? Is there they, skins? What um, are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have, um, they come and they usually decide who they want to play with that week okay. and they go out and um, some weeks, you know, we have some participants that they are very regimented and they like the team they're with and we have some participants that want to change teams every okay. week and we adapt and and make it work and nice. you know when it's a drop-in so yeah. um, we'd love them to register so we have an idea of who's coming okay. but um, you don't have to come every single week um, and yeah do you it's, play ever yeah okay uh -huh. All right. I'm no good well, that's okay. no. I'm no good <laughs> but it's okay but if it's a scramble yeah well it's scramble pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I know but if, if there if, then what's the team you scramble it, well, right? Well, best ball, maybe. Best ball. Yeah. Yeah. best ball, yeah. whoever has the best yeah. score. Yeah. So we'll yeah. pair you up with someone good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to uh, looking forward yes. to tomorrow for sure. We are too. It should be uh, should be a lot of fun. Can't wait. So, Thanks for having us on. Of course. One more time, if people want to find out more information about Club Life or uh, just inquire. Yep. Check us out on um, Facebook or Instagram, uh, Club Life, or our uh, website, www.theclublife.org. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks, Lindsay. All right. Thank Thanks, you. guys. More Macker Talk after this quick break. Thanks to Lindsay Sykes from Club, Club Life. More of the morning show right after this. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. You can see it in our smile, service that is second to none, the kind of personal treatment you would expect from your own family. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy has been taking care of the Jackson community for nearly 60 years. Whether it's your prescriptions, medical supplies, hearing aids, or over-the-counter products, you're treated like one of our own. Because at Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, your health and well-being, it's a family thing. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, a good neighbor pharmacy. Locally owned, locally operated, locally loved. I'm miles beyond my knee injury. I am Henry. I use science to help families grow. I am Henry. I'm a new mom with brand new lungs. I am Henry. I made sure that the cancer in my chest never got to my heart. I am Henry. I'm Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all-around conqueror, you found your Henry. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long.
the green market at Henry Ford and its many vendors want to thank our wonderful patrons for their many years of support. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon in the lot across Michigan Avenue from Henry Ford Health. The green market providing you and your family with healthy, fresh food. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. Now in their third generation, thank you to Vermeulen's for helping us bring you today's show. The Relay for Life is coming up at the end of this month. We'd love to see you all there. Cancer Won't Win, register today, July 28th to 29th, 4 p.m. to 2 p.m. Visit relayforlife.org slash Jackson County, Michigan. And we're looking forward to uh, partnering with Kelly Fuels and Hammond Hardware again uh, for the relay. So we, nice. uh, we're looking forward to it. As promised, more Gus Macker talk. And from Gus Macker Jackson, Kyle Lichty and Tina Mercier. Good morning. How you doing? Hi. Doing Hi. good. Happy doing Gus good. Macker Week. <laughs> every, Absolutely. Yeah, every, time I, every time I see you on Gus Macker Week, I think to myself, I'm glad I'm not Kyle. You know, it's <laughs> there's so many moving pieces. Yeah. Like one of the things that could have potentially happened during the show was meeting a wrecker a block away to get more baskets, but oh. thankfully that happened 45 minutes ago. Oh good, so. oh good, 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 good. Crazy. Okay. Crazy. So today's a big day in the prep. Yep. In the prep of the Gus Macker, yeah. and there's a name for it. Today is today's duct tape day. <laughs> duct okay. tape day. Tina, what do you do during duct tape day? Whatever he tells me to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so basically, today is the one day I yep. truly care about weather because okay. if it's dry, we can get the duct tape down. That puts us ahead of schedule probably by two hours tomorrow okay. for setup. So compared to being rushed, we'll get yeah. all the baskets up tonight in the park. Then we'll roll the. Okay. Baskets over tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, Tina from Hometown Heating and Cooling said it's going to be a beautiful day. Little tiny chance of rain later, but <laughs> you'll have plenty fine. of time to get Everything's it done. Everything's going to be fine. Absolutely. Everything's going <laughs> to be, be fine. So let's get to it. Let's talk about uh, what's happening and when. Perfect. All right. Tomorrow, right? So tomorrow is our registration starts at 4, and okay. then we're going to roll into our Heroes Tournament and nice. our Club Life. Um, gameplay and that starts at 5:30, and then we also have music on Michigan that yeah. starts from five to nine. So, so yeah. Friday night's a, a little day. bit like a party. Yeah. What are the games like? Um, I, you you mm -hmm. told me last year a lot of people have, have said it's it's the highlight of the. Yeah. Matter. So what's super cool about Friday night? It's because like on Saturday and Sunday there's a lot of people from out of town. Friday is a celebration for Jackson, mm -hmm. right? So with club life and the gameplay happening there, a lot of locals registering yeah. and people traveling in, a lot of them will check in Saturday, but you know, we wanna bring an atmosphere with the live music this year, support the emergency responders, police, nice. medical. So we see a lot of Jackson families come out on Friday. Cool. So everyone gets, you know, like the welcome to Jackson for mm -hmm. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. then the next day it's, Welcome to Jackson for the first time, potentially ever. Yeah, right. awesome. Yeah, and that's, uh, so Saturday is, uh, the fun doesn't stop. You have the mascot mm -hmm. meet and greet, the game, of course, the dunk contest. Saturday is just kind of like a whirlwind, <laughs> pretty much. That's the best way to describe yeah. that. <laughs> How many courts will you have going downtown? So we found out a week ago <laughs> that we added four courts. We oh. added 45 mm -hmm. people. Oh, so okay. um, just west of you in the parking lot of the Hayes building, so grateful for them to oh, okay. let us use their parking lot. We added three there, another one on Jackson Street. So we'll have 23 courts in total. Wow. Um, to think about back in 2018, I think we had like 12 courts. So yeah, it's changed. Pretty remarkable. Yeah, we've got some footage from incredible. last year. We'll uh, we'll take a look at as we're we're chatting. So where where downtown will the um, in the heart the heroes uh, <laughs> game and the uh, club life game be played, Kyle? Yeah. So we try to make it compact tomorrow night. So everything will take place in the Michigan and Jackson inter intersection. Okay. That's where in Bucky Harris Park we're gonna have live music as well. So from there to the Lean Rocket Lab. That's where the Heroes Tournament is. Okay. Everything will take place in that half block of Michigan. Okay. There's a, we've got Paws. We've got mm -hmm. Blue from Spring Arbor this year. We have Jax from Jackson College. We have, who else do we have? Got Rory coming from the Lions. Rory's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Rory's a big ad this year. That's cool. So I know there's a little bit of 
how the teams are shaping up, we got, you know, Pods and Rory on different teams. Okay. We have Jack from Experience Jackson going against Ellie, the Dancing Elephant. Dancing Elephant from Cherry Qu Creek Winery. Oh. So uh, having some, having a little bit of friendly rivalries in Have stores. Have you it's seen the size of uh, Jackson College's mascot's head? Yes. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be able to uh, get a shot up. Um, it's, it, it'll be a fun experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when is Jack. the dunk contest? Because I've never been down here for it. It looks amazing. Um, 12.30. Yeah. Right? It's 12.30. Uh, yep. 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 Okay. Top yep. men's court yes. right in front of JTV. Busy weekend. Love it. Yep. And the thing is, like, for the contest last year, um, the winner of it was actually a high school student who yeah. signed the week before with Ohio State to play football. So. Oh, and cool I think he's coming back. I've heard that rumor. So <laughs> that what? We'll see. I think he's coming back. He's, he's been liking every post on Instagram. He thinks so. it's easy money, so you know, hopefully someone from Jackson can show him it's not going to be as easy money Ooh. this time so around. So with that, too, it's like when looking at the registrations, we can see a little bit about the skill level. We can't see names of everything okay. um, administratively. But there are some that listed semi-pro experience, mm -hmm. Division One experience, ah. and a ton of D3 plus experience. Right. Yeah. So it should be the most competitive top men's division and, you know, dunk yeah. contests that For we've sure. ever had. Mm -hmm. For sure. So you mentioned. I mean, are there cash and prizes? There's. Oh yeah. Tell us. Yeah. Well. First prize is a thousand dollars, and your second prize is five hundred, and it's cash. Yeah, can you dunk? <laughs> yeah, like, I can try. I've been trying to practice. Yeah, yeah. What determines the best dunk? Like most entertaining dunk? I'm going to need some help. <laughs> yeah, yeah so I think skill. I mean, you know, it's it's got to make the crowd go go wow, right? And that's where I think some of the win winners were determined how they played the crowd. Yeah. And you know, there's some dunks that are just incredible and it's people flip up the ten and just no brainers. Yeah. yeah. But for those that engage the crowd the whole time, yeah. mm, kind of might bump them up a point so or two. Yeah. There's a showmanship piece to it. Absolutely. For sure. Who are the judges? Yeah. So haven't announced them yet, okay. but uh, we traditionally determine that about twelve fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a judge, uh, if you're there, you can awesome. judge it. Seriously, if you're downtown, you yep. can judge. There yeah. you go. Oh my gosh, I want to be a judge. You would need someone to to help you judge. I think. Not why? Well, <laughs> just want to make there's sure. There's a showmanship piece to it. There is a showmanship. I can identify. You definitely can. Yeah, you'd, yeah. you'd be fine. I <laughs> apologize. Yeah. I apologize. I take that back. You'll be just fine. I am adding. Are you getting ready to leave? I am adding. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like packing to, up your I'm papers. She's getting ready to go judge right now. <laughs> Tad it with Andy today. But wow, I'm going to add dunk contest judge to my resume. I think you should. Mm. Yes. I think you should. Um, you will like this, Jennifer. Mm. Record number of female teams here in Jackson. Yay. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have two additional girls divisions that never existed before. Wow. Um, so the you know the numbers are about twenty. I think 24% overall okay. of all the teams, that's very good, which is incredible. So thinking that that's upwards of 250 females wow. playing, it's huge, and it's our largest uh, adult women's division. Yeah, okay. And there's awesome. a, there was one year we didn't even have it, and that killed us because, you know, for the girls playing at the 10U level, yeah. they want to be able to look up to someone. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah on the center stage, yeah. so excited that we have a full division there as well. So Kyle, you mentioned that Friday night is for the locals and then Saturday, you guys bring a lot of people to oh, Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys oh, yeah. have any idea what those numbers look like? Like how many people will be here that may have never otherwise been in downtown Jackson? Well, we're estimating over 8,000 people, not including our players. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So our hotels and our restaurants, oh, yeah. everybody needs oh, to yeah. put on their game face yeah. and give them the best Jackson hospitality mm -hmm. we've got to offer. Yeah. Absolutely. And nice. we posted on Facebook today, we have a, <laughs> um, a campaign with local retail. So any 25 you spend at a retailer downtown, you're, you get a raffle ticket to win Enter to win a hundred dollars cool. worth of Gus Macker threads. Oh, awesome! Cool yeah, and it's so. not just a one store; it's twenty-five, all, all for all the stores. So if you spend five okay. here, five there. Oh, perfect! We'll tally them up, and for every twenty-five, we enter the ticket into nice. the drawing awesome. for you. Well, we so. know a lot of businesses are um, altering their hours to make yeah. sure they're accommodating the crowd. Some people that normally would be closed on Sundays are going to be open to yeah. accommodate. So yeah. we're, everybody's excited and geared up and can't wait for the athletes to roll It'll be in. fun. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great day. Follow, uh, <laughs> make sure you follow JTV and uh, Gus Macker Jackson on social media all weekend for uh, all of the action. And just come down too. Mm -hmm. uh, the action starts tomorrow night and uh, goes yeah. through Sunday. <laughs> so, looking forward to it. Yeah. Kyle and Tina, thanks so much. Thanks Thank for having us. We'll let you uh, get back out to the uh, duct tape. So. <laughs> Excellent. More of the morning show right after this.
Come on in and experience Not So Shabby Oh So Chic's new store location at 2600 Kibbe Road, Jackson's hottest destination for shopping, featuring unbeatable prices on home decor, jewelry, and fun fashions. Enjoy our outdoor deck for sharing lunch with friends, light food and snacks provided by West End Farm to Table, Wednesday DJ trivia, game nights, and more. Also visit our downtown location, The Blessed Nest, on West Michigan Avenue. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we are always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. Do you do landscaping? Yes, we do. Our landscaping is creative and innovative. We'll make sure your yard is beautiful. Do you do irrigation systems? Yes, our irrigation systems are top of the line and will be designed to fit your watering needs. What about lawn care? We do that too. Our lawn care services will continue to keep your yard healthy and help it grow. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, serving South Central Michigan since 1986. Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. NASCAR returns to the Irish Hills, and uh, Michigan's got a local driver. Uh, NASCAR Cup Series tickets start at $39. Youth, free Friday and Saturday, and start at $10 Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Youth are free Friday and Saturday. And the Eric Jones Experience. Join Michigan's own Eric Jones prior to the start of the Firekeepers Casino 400. A designated tailgate lot will include a DJ fun, and games, and even an appearance from Michigan's own Eric himself. I kind of want to do that. I think you should. Your schedule's filling up just on I this know. show. I know. You guys, <laughs> look at how much you enrich my life. I'm telling you, there's a lot going on. A <laughs> lot going on. Speaking of life enrichment. Speaking of life enrichment. Introduce our next amazing guest. One of my best friends and the <laughs> nicest. Was. Per, was one of my best friends and still one of the nicest people in the world, Melissa Burgett. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How is everyone? Well, Jennifer, I mean, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. It's know, good to see you again. Time. I love, though, I'm, that we are, our lives are intersecting in a couple of other ways. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah, in our professional lives. That's so. great. Do you guys want me to leave? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, hi, <laughs> She's Andy. not speaking to you, and I'm barely speaking you to you. You are barely so. speaking to me. Um, now, Andy stood you up. <laughs> he no-called, no-showed, which is a huge no-no. Let him have it for all the world to see. I think he's gotten it from a few different people, so... You are forgiven. Thank you, and Aww. I tried to make up for it. What? Roses and did chocolates? I, did I miss it? No, I, I came, <laughs> I saw you on Friday night. Okay. At the, uh, the yes, at the traffic jam and five k, which was an amazing event. Amazing event. They uh, had another record registration, um, a number of th 357 registrants. Holy smokes! 318 participants live. It was wow! Abashed. So it was awesome. Yeah. Awesome event. It was hot. It was hot, but it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It, was it was so much fun. <laughs> it was it was so hot that Melissa had to run the kids' fun run. Yep. With my the, son ahead of the race. Right. Well, I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't get to run the races, but yes. my son, my kids love if they if they're there. They're super comfortable now. They think they're part yeah. of it, which is amazing. That's what we want. Yes. Um, but my son is six, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have another level except for going at 100 miles an hour. Got it. So yeah. somebody needs to go with him, otherwise yeah. he'll just stop. 
Yeah. So yeah, in pants, in a shirt. Mm -hmm. I, I ran at 90 it? degree heat. Oh, oh yeah, it was. I looked amazing at the end. Well, you always look amazing. But I cannot believe how many races you guys do. Mm -hmm. You show up with full effort and energy every single race. And you mentioned how many people were at the yeah. one in Grass Lake. How many do you have? How many runners have you had so far this season? Oh, so that's a. You know, I, I apologize. You should. I. Uh, I have a, a running tally, but the way that I tally them is based on how many events they've participated in. Oh, got it. Okay. So there will be names of people that have participated in all seven races. Oh, wow. Um, that they're only listed once. And I think yeah. we're probably open close to 2,000 individual names. Wow. And Whoa. that does not include the kids' runs. Oh, so geez. it's amazing. It is, you know, it, it really is so much fun. If yeah. you've been to a race, you know, you see it, you feel yep. it while you're there. And that's really what gets people to yep. keep coming back. And there's one coming up that Andy and I are going to do. Yeah, the Clark. Oh, Andy. What's the date on that? <laughs> Saturday, August fifth. The Clark Lake Run. I can't. Oh, okay. We'll just what? we'll just keep We've going. Been talking about so this since don't May. look at me like that ever again. <laughs> we have been talking about this. Since okay, May. I'll cancel my plans. No, forget right, so it. So the Clark I don't want Run, either. Clark Lake, Saturday, August fifth. Twelve K run, five K run, five uh, K walk, and kids run. And this is always a very, very, very heavy populated. Now I did see you last year. I don't yep. think you saw me because there's so many people. But um, oh, there oh, you are. Yeah. Yeah. So hmm. so many people. This one is that? up in you know the 900s as far as participants, and it's long time doing? participants there. Oh, I know. Families. Oh, there's Pat. The there's the race director with his bullhorn. Oh, nice. Yes. Yep. They do such a great job. Mm -hmm. The whole mm -hmm. thing is so much fun. And this is the, yeah, that's still the Clark Lake. Yep. Um, wow. So, wait a second. The Clark Lake Run and Raftorama is the same weekend as race weekend? What do you mean? That, oh, at MIS? That, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That's fine. It's going to be a lot of really cool energy in the air. I don't know how you're going to spread yourself. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I will be there without Andy, thank God, on August 5th. Yep, August 5th, and then we have another one on Sunday, August 20th, and okay. that is the Heart of the Lion, which is another oh. family favorite uh, race. A lot of really loyal participants. All of the race proceeds go to support Special Olympics Area 19 here in Jackson, oh, which I is an that. amazing, amazing, and I know Randy Coleman was here yesterday talking about it. Hi. Sorry. I didn't no, you're good. To, I What's didn't up? mean to cut you off. I've already ran a race this year. You were there. The Mighty Mile? Yes. <laughs> did I run it? You did, but that one is not officially part of the ORS race series. Oh. So it can count, but maybe you get a half a point for that. I ran one. the Mighty Mile. So? In casual shoes. He was excited. Casual, but they were tennis. <laughs> they weren't dress shoes. We had a young man, one of our loyal ORS Race Series participants, run the Mighty Mile in Crocs. What? what? Isaac Fullerton really? ran it in Crocs. That's oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is funny. This is, His you, mom said it was all my fault. Oh, my. That's you, a commitment. Melissa, you have built, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you have built a huge community in the running uh, world. Yep. It was It was good. It's great now, yeah. and uh, I don't know if you get to see all of the uh, ancillary things going on because you're working, but the uh, the races are parties, and it's amazing yeah. uh, the families you're bringing together. So it's been it's been really good, and we're very uh, very happy to be a sponsor of it. It's really fun, and it's funny. Don Cuddy, the ra the traffic jam and 5K race director, sent me like four text messages right in a row just of all these like, super fun facts that have yeah. gone on. And she said, I met a family of four at Packet Pickup that, you know, I was like, oh, how'd you hear about the race series? You know, is this your first time? They're like, oh no, we are running the entire series as a family. Yeah. Wow. So mom, dad, and two kids. And yeah. I said, honestly, Dawn, it's not the only family we yeah. have. We probably right. have close to eight to 10 full families coming from children to parents, to brothers and sisters, to grandparents mm -hmm. that nice. participate. And that's really what we're trying to build is the, that community. Uh, the it's kids beautiful. after some of the races have uh, been treated to goodies from, oh, yeah. uh, M and K jetting mm -hmm. and televising, oh, one yeah. of your race sponsors. Yes, yes, and some of the, that is now spreading out to the adults as well. Okay. So nice. you know, nice. uh, Concord Class at Ick and Hanover have always passed out popsicles, but now it is a running. It's going to be a staple of the Oris race oh, series. Yay. So it's, it, yeah, I mean, it's hot. It's been pretty yeah, hot at hot. some of these races. So it's a nice treat at the end. Well, it's such a beautiful gift that Orthopedic Rehab gives to our community, bringing all of the, bringing you to us <laughs> and you to the community and putting on these great events. And like Andy said, that's what it is. It's mm -hmm. an event for the whole it family. Is. Even if the whole family's not running, mm -hmm. come out and cheer on those that are and just enjoy everything that you guys put together. It's wonderful. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for saying that. And that's a perfect segue into some really exciting news <laughs> that was released this morning is the ORS Oktoberfest <gasps> race 
is going to be Saturday, September 30th, and we are actually partnering with McKibben Media for the event because that's the same day as the Fall Fest and Chili Classic. Nice. So what a better way nice. to have a, an actual full day of family, you know, com family community yeah. events. So you're going to start with us at 9 a.m. We push back the start of the race so that people can stay throughout the day so it's not so much of a, a lag in time between. Yep. So we will have our 5K and 10K races. And what's super cool is if anybody, if you have participated in this race before, you know it runs through downtown. So we go straight down Michigan. Nice. Well, as we're running, the people that are going to be competing in the Chili yes. Classic are going to be setting up and getting themselves oh, ready. So, so they're going to have bells to help cheer on the racers. Nice. And if they run, if the individual, if they run the 10K, they actually run through it twice. Uh, I would like so to see the people eat It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> right. So our race will start at nine. We have the superhero run at 10, and that is the children are. Um, encouraged to dress up in yeah. as a superhero they would chase mm -hmm. villains ah! it's always so cute and so much fun yeah. then uh participants will get to have a farm to table breakfast from grand river oh. and then uh to your point with our mnk jetting sponsorship ors and mnk are going to be purchasing wristbands for all of the ors oktoberfest participants so they can stay oh, and that gets the them unlimited tastings for chili and salsa for the entire event nice so a lot of super fun things and then in conjunction with all of that, if you have more room on your on in, in your in your day, Grand River will be hosting their fifth annual 313 Polish Lager Beer Mile wow. at 11. So our oh. race at nine, kids fun run at 10, the 313 Beer Mile at 11, chili cook off. Wow. Right after that. Awesome. Mark awesome. your calendar. Yes. Please. ORSRaceSeries.com. Awesome. Run. The sign up is up. I'm going to be updating it with all the fun information that I just shared with all of you awesome. today. So and you'll cannot probably, wait. And you'll probably be busy, but I'll be there. <laughs> thank, Melissa, thank you for uh, coming in today. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Melissa Burgett from the world famous ORS Race Series. More of the morning show right after this. Hi, I'm Phil Tripp from Tripp's Collision Centers in Jackson, Lansing, and East Lansing. And I'm Barb Tripp, inviting you to join us at this year's Hot Air Jubilee at Ellisharp Park, July 21st to the 23rd. From the balloons to the car show, the kids' kingdom, and the food court, the Hot Air Jubilee is family fun from the start to the finish. Celebrating 40 years, we'll see you at the Jackson Hot Air Jubilee. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson just off I-94 exit 141 or online at ExtremeDodge.com.
At Runway Party Store, you'll find all of your everyday convenience items, smiling faces to help you find what you need, and daily specials fit for any meal. Visit us today and check out our newly remodeled location on Michigan Avenue, just south of the Jackson Airport. If you like food trucks like we do, then Food Truck Tuesday is for you. And next week, there's a Food Truck Tuesday, July 25th. And uh, there's your lineup. So join us. Oh, Baby Bear Burgers is on there. We yeah. were talking about that the other day. Yeah, episode. they're but back. But melted is really good. It is too. good. I had a, like a patty melt off of there once. Yeah. Ooh, it was really good. Awesome. Hey, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, that's all for today. One o'clock. Join us for the Bart Holly Show live, 1 o'clock. We'll see you then. Sylvia's Catering in Napoleon showcases traditional dishes with